Good morning. The Flamingo Land Palettes, everybody. Woo! The oddly large boys be scranning. The oddly large boys be scranning. Monkey Island. Monkey. Right then. Who wants to steal a zoom on a real car with me? If you've got a van, hit me up. A brand new for 2021. Large immersive wooden box, everybody. I haven't heard of Peacock in so long. It's so good to see him again. Look at him. Look at him go. Here he comes. Hello. Hello, fella. How are you doing? Here we see a brand new immersive piece of theming for the 2021 season. Stay tuned throughout the year to find out what the hell is under this tarp. Shit, John. Shit, I've overshot the station. It's parked on the lift hill. John, the train's splitting off. Help me, John. John, help. Zam. Pella spinning coaster with the weird shipping chap. It seems that Velocity Station and railings and fences have been painted for this season, which is nice to see. Actually, the whole station's been painted silver and they've painted all the bars red, which is very nice, fits with the track. However, the tin inversion still has not been painted. Or barely even touched for that matter. I can't wait to see Eagle's Claw sat here in like a year or two. Lol. Bye bye flip flop. RIP Dino Roller of course. Adding fuel to the fire which is the rumour of Dino Rollers being for sale. Whereas the large rock theming structure has been moved randomly to the middle of a path. True from England fashion. Closed. Pain. That's what bothers me now. Favourite frog hoppers in bits. Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. Close. It's nice to see as it's the first day of the season that Flamingo Land have finally started doing the pre season maintenance on Kamali as there is no longer a train sat on the track. I can promise you now, there was a train last week. Beautiful sky, so bloody hell. On a more serious note though, I'd like to say RIP to Kamali the Lion. He was the namesake for the ride, as you could probably guess. And he was here for many, many years, 18, I think. He died yesterday, it's very sad, so RIP Mr. Kamali. Here we observe an ostrich, some zebras, and an abandoned boat ride. You can see boats for the boat ride sat right next to the course. Here we see the tap and bucket for the kangaroos. They've been trained to turn it on themselves in case they get thirsty. On a more serious note, I would like to say though that it's nice to see that there's a lot of people here. The few rides they have open, they've all got fairly big lines and it's just nice. 
because I understand why they're operating like they are. It does seem strange, but at the end of the day, there is a reason behind it. And it's good to see there's people sat in the beer garden at the pub. There's plenty of people waiting for rides, looking at the animals. It's just nice to be back, to be fair. I'm happy. I'm just happy to be here. So, this is an interesting look round to see if anything's actually happened over the off season. I forgot to even mention Coupland. We've got Coupland that's getting built right now as we speak in classic Flamingo Land fashion because never nothing ever opens on time. But overall, it's just it's just been a, a nice little walk round. See what's going on. Look at all those chickens. We interrupt this program for a special news bulletin. Oh bloody hell, John. John, I've done it again. I've parked it in the middle of the circuit, John. The children are stuck, John. Oh bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs>